Hello, this is Furkan and in today's video, we are going to create a drawer navigator. First, we will start with creating a simple drawer navigator. Then we will move on to creating a custom navigator that has much more features. So let's get to it. Open the folder where you want your React Native project to be created. Type CMD at the top to open command prompt. Then type the command npx create expo app custom drawer. Custom drawer is the name of my project folder. You can name it anything you like. This command will create a React Native project. You can see custom drawer folder has been created and you can see all the files that have been created. This will take up to two to three minutes. The process is complete. Now I will head over to Visual Code Editor to run the project. Here you can see all the files that we just installed. Open the terminal. Type the command npm start. Wait for a while. And there you go. Your project is up and running. Now, without wasting any time, we will install React Native Drawer Navigation. Press Ctrl C to stop the server, otherwise, we won't be able to run any command. Now, type the following command. All these commands are written in the link below in the description. You can copy from there. This command will install React Native Navigation. Now run the following command. Again, it is for React Navigation. Now install Draw Navigation with this command. Here is the last command that you need to run. Copy all these from the link in the description. Now let's go to our project. First we will import React Native Gesture Handler. Then we will import Create Drawer Navigator. Then create a constant drawer which will hold the value of the function Create Drawer Navigator. Once this is done, we will break the code into three parts. Call the drawer function or component. code the drawer function and create the component function that will be used by the drawer function. We don't need this for now, so delete it. Create navigation container. This step you do every time you implement React Navigation. Then we will call our own component. I will call it my drawer. With this, first step is done, which was to call the drawer function. Now comes step two. We will code that component. We named it my drawer. It is going to return something. The first tag is drawer.navigator. The next tag is drawer.screen, which has a name and a component attribute. Copy and paste to make it two because we will have two screens in this project. We are going to name one home and the other blogs. Now third step, code the component. Name must match with the component. This component is going to have a simple text saying home screen.
let's add some style so the text is in the center of the screen Now let's make a component for blogs. Simple copy and paste it and change home to blogs. Let's run the project with npm start. And there you go. You can see the drawer navigation at the top. Click on it, you see home and blogs. If you click on blogs, it will go to blog screen. If you click on home, it will go to home screen, just like a typical drawer navigator. Before we move on to creating awesome custom drawer, we need to organize our code a bit. Now so far we have coded our app in single files which means that component and logic are all in app.js. So let's organize in a professional way. For that we will need to move our components in component folder. So let's do that. Make a component folder. Create a file named home.js and blogs.js and we are going to paste these components in these files respectively. And now we can remove this component from app.js file and import it as an external file at the top just like this now we are going to do the same with blogs component again copy and paste to save time Import blogs from component folder. Save it and see. Everything is working fine. Remove the comments now so our code is compact. One last thing, let's replace the function call with the function itself before we move on to creating custom drawer. Select the code, press Ctrl X to cut or copy and paste it here where we call the component and remove this now now our code is very much simplified save it and it is still working now the next step towards making an awesome drawer navigation is that we need a component which we can design on our own and that component will be responsible for the side panel so that's exactly what we are going to do Inside draw navigator tag, I'm going to add an attribute of drawer content which has the value of props is equal to my custom drawer. Now my custom drawer is something that I will be creating and that will be responsible for the left side panel. The initial root name is going to be home because that's the screen that should be loaded when we restart our app. So let's create a new file inside components folder. 
I'm going to call it my custom drawer. Import from React, import from React Native, the regular lines. Now we are going to import drawer content scroll view and drawer item list from React Navigation Drawer. Import my custom drawer in your app.js file so we can access and add an empty text tag within your custom drawer function. Now save it and see what happens. The drawer navigator is working but now it's giving a white screen because we have added nothing inside our component, just an empty text tag. So that's why it's showing white screen. Now let's add all the screens that we have inside this draw navigation with just a single command. This line is going to import all the screens that we have in app.js and show it on the left panel. Add a style of flex is equal to 1 so that we can see it in the center. And there you go. Our navigation is working with a new component that we can style and edit as per our liking. In next video we are going to style our drawer navigation with colors and pictures. So let's move on to the next one. In this part we are going to add some colors to our drawer navigation. First of all we are going to use the screen options to add some colors to the text and background. So inside the drawer navigator we will add screen options which must have an object. The first one to use is drawer active background color. This means whichever screen is active this will add the background color to it. Then we will add drawer active tint color. This is the color of the text of the screen which is active at the moment. Similarly, we will do the same thing with the inactive elements. Just remember Active means the screen which we are currently on and inactive are all the other screens. Now we will go to our my custom drawer component which is responsible for our drawer navigation. If you missed out on this part, you can view the previous videos. The link is in the description. Here we will divide our drawer navigator into three parts. The header which will have an image and an overlay text the second is the navigation itself which will have all the screens and third is footer in footer we can add the contact or copyrights or whatever login logout any form of button For now, I'm just going to use placeholders. So let's write this is header. And this is footer. Just to give an indication on how our layout looks like. This will be replaced later on with actual elements. Um, save it. Save it. And here you go. In next video, we are going to add the header and the footer so that our draw navigation is complete and it looks beautiful. So see you in next part. In this last part of the draw navigation series, we are going to add the header which contains an image and an overlay text, 
along with the background image we have the navigation part which is already completed then we will move on to the footer which has nothing but icons and some extra navigation now let's move on to customizing our drawer navigation let's go to my custom drawer component remove the text line now we are going to add the background image first Don't forget to import the image background at the top. Image background takes two attributes. One is source and one is style. Source is the file destination and style is the size, width, height and all that. I have already placed the images in my assets folder which is inside the custom drawer project. So let's import the background image. In styles, I'm going to use padding top 50 and padding bottom 50. I just realized that I've added image background twice, so let's remove the so let's remove the last one. Save it. And you can see the image is showing in our draw navigation. Now we will add a circular profile picture on top of this background image. Let's create a view, add style to it. Style will include justify content and align items so that the image is centered, the circular image will be centered. Now we create image, it will have source again and as well as style. Don't forget to add image on top of the react native file. Add the path of your image inside the source object. You can see here I'm going to use pro.jpg and for styles I'm going to use width of 50 and height of 50 as well since it is going to be round it must have equal width and height let's make it 80 now we will add the border radius which is going to be the half of our width and height Now let's create another view which will be the container of the image. We will add style to it. This is mostly for border purpose. The border color is going to be of white so that it's visible. The border width is going to be 3. and border radius is going to be 40.
I'll make it 43. Now we are going to create another view which will hold our text. So simply create a view text and add your name or anything that you want. Obviously it will be coming from server in a real application but for now I'm just writing it as it is. Let's add style, font family, sorry we want font size and that is going to be of roughly 17, seems good. The color should be white. Let's add style to the view container. Justify content center. Align items center. You save it and you can see. Let's increase the padding at the top. Now we're going to edit our footer. Create a view which will act as a container. Let's add style to this view. Padding is of 20. Border at the top should be 1. Border top color should be roughly gray. So that's equal to C. Now let's add a text. Let's add um, tell a friend. It will be a share share link. You can obviously add a link to it. And we are going to second one is going to be sign out or log out, whichever you want. These are extra navigations. Now let's add an icon. I'm using Ionicons. You can use any one you like. Uh, the link is in the description of all the icons library. Let's add uh, import it at the top. Copy and paste it and add. I'm using a, se a separate Ionicon for this one. Let's add a view container for each element of so that it can be shown in a horizontal line instead of um, on top of one another. So flex direction is going to be row. Now you save it and you can see that it's appearing in single line. Copy it and paste it for the second one. Save it and there you go. Somewhat it's looking better. Align items should be center. Copy and paste. Let's add some style to the text. color should be let's try this neon color font size let's increase it margin from the icon should be about five so I'm using margin left copy the entire style paste it in the second one save it and much better. Let's add some padding as well. Padding vertical means that padding at top and bottom will be added. So I'm going to use 15. That's good. And there you go. You can try 
everything that you want you can try a lot of things with this this is just the basic steps for creating your custom drawer in next series we are going to take a look at some advanced feature of custom drawer and we won't be covering basics of the draw navigation there so it will be for advanced from the very first video this one is for all those who needed a guidance for basic drawer navigation so hope that helps do subscribe and see you in the next